and welcome back everyone to our playthrough of Tomb Raider Remastered. And we're on the final level of the first zone, the first set of levels, Peru. We're at the final level. I'm going to get the first piece of the Skion, I think it's called. Right, something I'm going to do, because if I'm going to die, it's going to probably be on this level. Because there is spikes and boulders and all sorts. So let me throw a save. Should we go trigger the boulder? Because the uh, piece of ski on we need is up there. Uh, I've seen and I even practiced, like, there's like a speedrun tactic you can do, or a glitch you can do at the entrance to this level, where you can make it so that gate never closes. Or something of that nature, and you can just grab the piece and just leave straight away. I wonder if you can still do those things. Oh, shit. Our first boulder. But yeah, no, nah, the gate's closed. Look. And now we can't get it. We do get a nice camera shot, though. Because there it is. Right, we've got to go find a way around. we got to take the long way. Which is technically going through here. But these are all closed off, so we've got to go find a bunch of switches to open all these gates. I think there's three gates in total. To do that is with this little hidden switch. Get ready for the the dinos. What are you guys doing in here? All right, we got to pick a door. Any door left is always right. We've got to do them all anyway. Moving block one, yeah, okay. You have to move these blocks to be able to jump to the different gaps in the walls. I'll assume moving that was the right decision for now. Okay, we can climb up there. So we want to move the block we stood on into a position where it'll allow us to jump to that one, I think. I mean, it only moves one of two different places, so... It's either on or off. Did a door open? Is that like the exit so you can climb back up? Or must be this door down here. I think it takes you back to where we came in. Because I think you have to move the switch back at some point. <sighs> Careful now. There is spikes to worry about. They're more over there though. I think we need to move that one now more this way. So we can then get over there. I think that's our goal. We jump that from here. I feel like I have to move it back. Oh no, you don't. <coughs> okay, that moves that one. Maybe you're meant to move it back, or the idea was to move it back so you could get up here. But you clearly don't have to. But now it begs the question how do I get back on? It's probably safer to do it this way. Now this is where we have to be careful, because there's spikes. Mess this up and we're screwed. This is why I don't like jumping in at an angle. I 
Because you never know if you're going to have enough room to jump, or you'll mistime it. Okay, first switch. Hey, look, it's Skullboy again. He's back. Just going to clear those spikes. <laughs> it's not taking any chances, huh? Right, first one done then. Two to go. Now, there used to be a save crystal in here. Hello. Yeah, you derp out over there. Should we just work our way around? This is the one with the pit of wolves, right? Any items? Nasty. These guys didn't fare too well. How these creatures are in here and haven't just died of starvation, I don't know. Like, these creatures clearly aren't going anywhere. How long have they been down here? Now we're going to pull this out. I don't think you push it. Now we can push it. Just got to move it out of the way. I'm sure there's an item down here. No, no. Item, please. There we go, that's door number two. Let's be a little bit more careful. Okay, we're back in the middle area. Okay, that leaves just this one then. Oof. My face. I was going to say, I believe we're pulling this, but we can't pull it because that block's in the way. So this is a push block. That's why this thing is here, to make sure you understand that or to stop you from pulling it out, I guess. Because there's no room to do so. Is that as far as it goes? Yep. Now, I'm probably going to save here because this spike trap bullshit will... Potentially get me killed if you don't jump it right. And there is technically a save crystal in the center area, so we shall save. I hate that they have the load up first, because you could actually then need load instead of save, and that'll really fuck you over. And there we go, final door. But if we fall down here. I can't really see them very clearly. I can see them more clearly because they're like bright white with red on. There is spikes down there. If you're not careful, you're going to land on them. Okay, sweet. We're almost done. Flying through these levels quicker than I expected. The next set of levels will take longer because those levels are huge in comparison. Unless they feel it. Like, Greece feels like the biggest set of levels. There's more of them, and they feel longer. Oh yeah, spikes. Spikes. Not spikes, but... I guess dart traps is what they're meant to be. And there's also a secret up here. I forget. Does this open automatically, or...? It does, okay. Some shotgun shells. Shit, I still landed on that one by the entrance. 
So I always tell this story, but I remember when I, one of the last times I played this game, I literally fell down here, but somehow managed to land like in between, I guess like four of the spikes, squares that are down there, because they're all set into like squares. And I managed to somehow land in between them and not die. So I could just walk towards the end and just climb out. And this could be a bit of an issue because I've kind of destroyed the shit. Well, I'm just making life harder for myself, but I'm guessing I can just jump from here. Because otherwise you'd be stuck in here. Right? There we go. Okay. We're good. I think that's it. Should we check the compass? Instantly go past the compass. Only one of three secrets, huh? I think there'll be one near the end. That one I mentioned on the last level that's in the water. Where's the other one? Here we are. Now in the original, yeah, he still does it. The mummy on the left. He just watches you. His head just follows you around. I guess these are what the enemies in the uh, in the Egypt levels look like. And in the final levels, but without the mummy wraps. And this is Qualopec. And that shit that's coming out the side of him is not technically the chair, it's meant to be like part of him. Even though it looks more like it's part of a chair. But you'll see him in a cinematic later on and he has these like weird things coming out of his arms, shoulders, whatever's going on here. You can also lock onto this one. Which I never understood why. Why does this one follow you? Is it just to be creepy? He takes it like a champ. We'll be hearing that sound a lot earlier. Rest in peace, buddy. Right, are we ready? This place is going to fall to bits. Naturally, when we pick this up, Indiana Jones style. So I might save. Just because I could get killed by the, uh, the falling debris. Beep. It's time to leave. Oh, you want to be careful here. You're better off just moving one square at a time to make sure it doesn't fall on you. Because basically it triggers. And the idea is that you're going to keep running and you run it into the path of it. And all of it. I guess that's it. I might switch to the shotgun. We have a bit of a boss fight coming up. And I can't think of a better time to use the shotgun. Gotta go get that secret first though. Where is he? see him. I don't think he's triggered yet. Let's go trigger him and then we'll go get a secret. There he is. Our good friend Larson. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, this is where the cave is. So this is one secret. We've still missed one. Where the fuck is the item? Oh wait, is there a hole? Oh, right. I thought it was just a cave with a hole in it, with an item in it. Or we could just hide in here. You'll never find us. A large med pack. Oops, something else as well. They're hard to see on this floor. They kind of blend in a little bit. Okay, let's go deal with our, uh, our dear friend. Who 
has a health bar. This guy's gonna rip into me. Yeah, get wrecked. Well, you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natley. Thank you. I will. And there we go, Tomb of Qualipec finished. That was actually quite quick. That was Probably one of the quicker ones, actually. I'm surprised how fast we got through that. But yeah, we missed a secret somewhere. We missed a few items as well. I don't know where they are. Off the top of my head. But yeah, that will be doing it for Peru. We'll be heading off to Greece. Into the next zone tomorrow. So I shall see you then. Goodbye for now.